Hello YouTube, how you doing? It is Sunday morning the 1st of December 2018 and um, heading from Miami to Fort Lauderdale Commercial Boulevard because I'm gonna be playing some music today for a funeral to be held there I'm invited to play there for a church so I'm going to be playing for that funeral this morning Sunday morning it's a seven day Adventist church so I guess they do their funerals on on Sunday the reason why I'm making this video is to talk about one thing in particular about death and hell that the Bible speak about more than one type of hell more than one judgment and more than one hell it talks about you know people get the impression that when you die and you are not saved that your body goes into the earth and you stay there and wait until until Christ returns to judge the world you know and I can tell you this much that if you if that is your understanding of the Bible or of how things work then you have a total misunderstanding you see that's what the enemy wants uh, for people to misunderstand the word of God so but that by you misunderstanding the word of God you know they can deceive you and one of the things you don't want to deceive be deceived about is hell the fact of the matter is that when you die without applying the salvation of God to your life, when you die, when that soul is not going to be saved, when you die, you're going to hell. So that, and that is the first hell that we talk about. The Bible talks about death and hell. So death is the gates of hell. Death is the gates that you, you walk into or you walk in through to go to hell. So you die first and you go to hell. So this is why the Bible talks about them as in tandem at all times, death and hell. You know, as um as 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 like wanting like a component because you die, you go to hell. If you have not received the salvation of, of, the, of the Lord in your life, then when you die, you, you will go straight to hell. There is no intermittent process. I talked about like the three-day process that the bodies, that, that you, you, the soul spend at the gates of hell before they actually go into hell. But if you're going to hell in three days, then you're going to hell because three days is gonna come very soon. I strongly believe that when a person die within the first three days that you can actually pray that person back to life. Because if you're not saved, if your soul is not saved, man, then don't die. It is a bad idea. It is a bad thing, you know, to happen. We here on this earth, we we live, you know, in this life, and some of us we still sin, you know, within the body, within the flesh that we live. But at least we know the truth. At least we know that you cannot enter into the kingdom of God through sin. So the one save, always save doctrine is that it is, you know, it it is not it is not the gospel. That's just the devil trying to tell you that it is okay to remain in your sin and then if you remain in your sin you can still uh, you can still go to heaven but the fact of the matter is that in reality the life that you live on this earth is an opportunity to save the soul and if you have not made use of that opportunity then hell will be the place where you'll end up I'm saying it because it's a dirty job. It's a dirty thing to say. But somebody got to do the dirty work. Because it makes no sense to open the doors of a church to mislead people, to tell people that, 
you know, they can continue to live in their sin and that one save always save and you save by faith. By grace through faith. Yeah, you save by grace through faith, but grace through faith, faith takes works. Because without faith, without works, there is no faith. Because you have to prove your faith. And you're gonna live according to what you believe. So the whole argument of if we say by grace through faith that doesn't even make no sense if you're not understanding it in the wrong in the right context because you see the whole thing about it is that people try to live their life everybody wants pleasure it is the second nature of a man that is adopted since you were babies everybody wants pleasure nobody wants to make sacrifices and I'm here to tell you that without sacrifices without the denial of the flesh your soul cannot be saved. Thanks a lot. Visit my website at thelocalteller.com. Thelocalteller.com. And on there we have a video about what it takes to be saved. What it means to be saved. Because it is our only option. We don't have, an, have the option to, to live in sin. Because sin have very serious consequences. Thanks a lot.